hi there welcome to the happy chicken coop youtube channel thanks for joining us today we're going to be talking about why chicken tractors may make your chickens lay more eggs before we get into that please be sure to like and subscribe to our youtube channel as well as subscribe to our website thehappychickencoop.com if you subscribe using the link in the description below, you will receive a free ebook on the 10 chickens that lay the most eggs and a very in-depth breakdown of each chicken. So without further ado, let's get into it. In an ideal world, we would let our chickens free range all year round. And I'm pretty sure we're on the same page that they would appreciate that from us as well. However, what do you do during the winter when predators such as foxes are desperate and risk an attack during the daytime? The answer is chicken tractors. You could keep your chickens in a coop and pen during winter, but we found this affects their egg laying massively. This is why we decided decided to use a chicken tractor and the girls rewarded us by increasing their egg laying. So let's talk about what is a chicken tractor. A chicken tractor is a portable pen that you can move around your garden to provide your chickens with constant fresh grass supply. Chicken tractors are usually just dragged across the garden. However, you can get fancier tractors that have wheels to make them easier to pull. At this point, you're probably wondering how is this any different from the normal chicken pen? So let's talk about the difference between a chicken tractor and a chicken pen. The most significant difference between these two is that a chicken pen is not portable a pen is attached to the side of your chicken coop and that's just where it stays a pen tends to be more secure because it's a permanent structure and you can bury the chicken wire down in the ground to stop predators from digging underneath the path or underneath the pen however the pen's downside is that because it's a permanent structure you'll just find your chickens eat all the grass in their pen and it's just left over with dirt unless you provide your chickens with a large pen this will always happen and for most backyard chicken keepers we don't have the space to extend the pen this is where the chicken tractor comes in because chicken tractors are very mobile. It means you can move them around when your girls have cleared a patch of land. This means they get access to fresh grass and different areas of your garden or your yard, which stops them from overgrazing any one particular section. It also stops them from eating things they aren't supposed to, seeds you've planted, vegetables, and flowers. So let's talk about our experiment with chicken tractors. We still remember fencing off their pen when we first got our chickens at around 18 weeks old we started with six chickens and they had a pen roughly 15 by 8 feet throughout the summer our girls free ranged in the garden however we kept them in the pen during the winter because we were worried about foxes attacking them the summer was fantastic and our girls were lying well then winter was coming around so it was time to place the girls back in the pen Within a month, our girls had utterly wiped out all the grass and it was turning into a mud the bath in the middle of December. Not ideal. We extended the pen by another 15 by eight foot. And again, by the end of January, their entire pen was just dirt. And worse yet, the grass didn't even get time to recover because the chickens were always there. During this winter, their egg laying plummeted Granted, the number of eggs they laid should reduce anyway during the winter, but it was literally off the spectrum. We think the problem was because they had eaten all the grass. They only had dirt to scratch around in. They didn't like this and it unsettled them. If we had used a chicken tractor back when we thought to extend the pen, we could have moved our chickens around the various patches of grass. This would have allowed the new grass to recover and grow back. We had a dilemma. We were happy for our chickens to roam anywhere in the garden. During the winter, they need to be secured during the risk of them being attacked. We can't place chicken rye around the edge of our entire garden because it would look like a prison and the size of their current pen wasn't big enough because they turned it into a mud bath. So the following winter, we decided to try instead and use a chicken tractor. We planned to keep the girls in the coop overnight to roost. And then during the day, we would put them in the tractor the tractor would be moved each week to stop them from overgrazing any particular area. One unexpected side effect was that although their egg production slowed down during the winter, they still laid far more eggs than the previous winter. However, the eggs were slightly dirty, not to worry because we just followed a guide that we'll link here in the description on how to store your chickens freshly laid eggs. Since then, we've been using the tractor for several winters and have seen great things happen. Some of our friends came over and wanted to know how we use the tractor, so we wrote them a list of things we do. We thought we'd share them with you too. So what we found is chickens will lay more eggs when they eat more healthy grass. The grass is suitable for chickens, so using a tractor naturally benefits our laying hens in their production departments. We notice our eggs change when our hens had access to the grass under the tractor year round. The yolks became darker and tasted better. 
because grass meets our hens protein requirements their production spiked a chicken's daily nutrient requirement is one quarter of the way fulfilled by eating grass not to mention the vitamins and minerals they also get from eating the greens vitamin e vitamin c and iron implementing the chicken tractors in our poultry raising routine allowed our hens to eat a more natural diet consisting of high value greens outside of the feed so let's talk about how we used a chicken tractor during the winter the first thing to remember is that we only use the tractor to keep them safe during the winter it's important to keep the coop and not get rid of it because in the evening we would push the tractor back over to the coop and they would roost there at night it's also important to make sure you rotate it so each week we move the tractor to a new place in the garden so if you have a tractor make sure you protect against flooding if certain areas of your garden are prone to flooding make sure you place the tractor on high ground always move the tractor if the ground underneath it is bare if you're going to have a chicken tractor you need flat ground make sure you only use the trick tractor on flat ground the bumpy ground is not ideal for tractors because it can leave gaps which chickens might escape from as well as predators attacking and also make sure to close it on snowy days we keep the girls in their coop or pen on certain winter days we think it would be too cold for them to be out in the snow make sure you also check for eggs although we have a small nesting box at one end of the chicken tractor some girls don't like using it so once you've moved the tractor check the grass to make sure there aren't any hidden eggs and make sure you clean up the food while searching for any hidden eggs make sure there aren't any pellets or other food on the floor because this will attract pests such as mice so we're going to link to another video here a separate youtuber on what can happen to the grass and how it's affected with chicken tractors so let's answer this question do i need a coop or pen with my chicken tractor this is a question that most people ask when they hear about chicken tractors and my answer is it depends on the climate that you live in and the breed of your chickens if you live in a warm climate all year round you could keep your girls in their tractor all year round but we wouldn't recommend it however chickens need the coop to stay warm during harsh winters and colder climates also as a rule of thumb only chickens grown for meat are kept in tractors all year long laying chickens need a substantial nesting box we much prefer to keep our girls in their coop and like i mentioned earlier only use the tractor during the winter as a necessity so are you going to try and use a chicken tractor now let us know about your experiences in the comments below we're going to stop here thanks for listening thanks for joining us today if you found our content interesting if you learned something new please be sure to like and subscribe to our youtube channel with that i hope you have a great day and We'll talk to you soon.